Hello and welcome to the Z-Hut. Today I'd like to show you how you can use your Android device with an Arduino board and a Bluetooth module to control up to 12 relays. Now this is a very easy project to build. The entire circuit board will take you a matter of minutes to put together. Basically all we have is an Arduino board and I'm using a Nano now you can use an Uno or any of the other ones. Um, the Lily Pad probably wouldn't work with this. Um, there's not enough digital pins on it. But most of your other Arduino boards will work. Now for the Bluetooth module, the transceiver, I'm using an HC06. You can use an HC05. That'll work fine. Just make sure it's programmed in the slave. Um, and for the relays, just make sure the relays you want to control are going to be able to be activated by 5 volts, because that's what the Arduino board puts out. And then I do recommend using ones that have opto couplers or opto isolators, a couple different names for them, and that's that little black doohickey right there is. It just keeps the connections um, optical instead of physical. And like I said, just make sure the relay you're using will handle the amps and voltage that you're going to be running through here. And uh, a little disclaimer, if you electrocute yourself, blow your house up, get injured, destroy something, this video is for educational purposes only, so build and use this at your own risk. Uh, now with that, there really isn't much. Oh yeah, and when remember when you hook up the Bluetooth module, the uh, HC05 and 06, you need to put a voltage divider. That's what these two resistors are for. Because the logic that comes into it um, is like 3.3 volts. And this knocks it down to roughly 3, which still works fine with it. No problem. And the, uh, the output from the board, you don't have to do nothing because the uh, Arduino board's meant to handle 5. And it's receiving 3 off of it but it still recognizes it and it works fine all right now for the app and all also for the um the schematic on uh, how to hook up the bluetooth module to your arduino board and connect the relays um just go to my website and that's in the description below and then also on my website you'll be able to find the app and i wrote this app myself it's free and the tablet just shut down on me because it's been sitting too long. There we go. Then the app is free. Um, this will control up to 12 relays. Um, just remember, if you use the 12th relay, that's on pin 13 of the Arduino board. So when you first power this on, the relay would click on and off a few times. So uh, this is something you're going to be turning off and on all the time. I probably wouldn't hook up the 12th. Otherwise, what you can do, you know, if you just on occasion have to turn the power off and then repower it, just unplug the pin from pin 13, plug it in. Otherwise, if it won't hurt nothing, having it click off and on a couple times quick, just leave it hooked up. But uh, once you go to the website and you get my free app, and you can see it's right here, the relay. So we'll click on that, open it up, and it brings you to this page, and we got the connect button to connect to the Bluetooth. Now I renamed my Bluetooth module right there to relay, so I know which one it is. Now yours is going to probably have a different name unless you go and actually rename it. And um, that will be a video coming uh, shortly on how to rename the Bluetooth modules. I've had a few questions about how I've done that. Now once we get the app up, you can see there's the disconnect button to disconnect. Now I've also wrote into this app, if you do get disconnected, if you had Relay 1 turned on, you see there it just turned on, and you disconnect the app without turning that back off, when you reconnect to the Bluetooth module it will show up that it's on. And it says off, and that means to turn it off. When it says on, that means to turn it on. But uh, it saves all that. So when you turn it off or you reset the phone, as long as you're not uh, doing a factory reset, 
the uh, Android device will remember if the relay is on or off. Now, if the power goes out, it all resets everything, and you had the phone off and stuff, of course. You just go and hit each one and uh, twice, and <clears throat> it'll reset everything. It's, it's not going to hurt nothing, but... Yeah, that's the way I set it up. So, you know, if you want to turn it on and then you walk away, you go out of Bluetooth range, it's not shutting that off. That will still stay on until you come back, reconnect. Actually, I'll just show you. I'll disconnect. See, that little light that's on right there, that means the relay's turned on. I'll reconnect. Select my relay. Hit relay one, you see it says to turn it off. Now it turned it off. That's that little lights for. Now, um, <clears throat> for the app, like I said, that's on uh, my website. Just look in the description below. The code for the Arduino is on there. I'm not going to go over the code or the app because there's nothing to really change on this. There is no point in going over it. Just download it, install it. That's all you got to do. And just remember to use the right relays for what you're doing and make sure they are activated by five volts. If you get a three volt relay and you hook it up for the five volts, you better put some resistors in there or voltage divider, something, or you're going to fry your relay. Now, with that, uh, I guess the only other thing to add is I just hooked it up for plugging a wall ward in to control it. Um, this wall wart actually supplies one amp to the board, and the Arduino, of course, does not put that much out. But these are self-powered relays. It just uses the uh, the input to trigger the optocoupler, and then it pulls the power off the wall wart to actually activate the relay. So, um... Oh, and if you are using relays that don't have the, the optical couplers, optocouplers, optical isolators, there's a few names for them, I have another video on how to add these to a relay, and that's in my website too. And I put a link to that right on the page for this project so you can find it. And you might also need, if you were running a higher... Um, <clears throat> powered uh, relay that like runs off at of 12 volts or something instead of 5 what you're going to have to do is use a transistor to trigger it and um, there's actually plenty of tutorials on how to do that online so I'm not really going to go into it uh, just google it if that's what you need to do so with that we'll wrap this video up and I would like to thank you for joining us here at the Z Hut Please give us a thumb up if you thought this tutorial was helpful. Make sure to check out the website and also check us out on Facebook. Have a great day and we hope to see you here again.